All right, so we talked about some of these that, that it's dependent on income and household, and now we're going to go over a complicated household. Hi, do you know someone who needs health insurance? Yeah, I need it. All right, well, hopefully I can help you with that. Um, I have a chart here. Um, do you want to just see where your income falls on this chart? Uh, yeah, I make about 19000 Okay, and do you have um, any kids living with you? Well, yeah, my aunt lives with me, and there's my girlfriend, and we have six kids. Okay, um, and how many of those people do you claim on your taxes? Uh, well, just one is my biological daughter. Okay, and she's the only one that you claim. Yeah. All right. Um, well, um, it's and you've pointed out your income here, and it looks like you might qualify for Medicaid. Um, can I just bring you over here to a navigator and hopefully get you signed up? Well, I have to go pick up my kids. Is there anything you can give me? Yeah, absolutely. I, I have a phone number I can give you, and then I can take down your information, too, if that works better. Great. All right. All right. So the takeaway there is that since eligibility is determined by income and household, it's helpful to try to figure out the basics of who someone claims on their taxes. Obviously, not everyone files taxes. This can be complicated. You don't need to try to figure this all out. But, we, but there's some basic questions you can ask that are polite and probe into that a little bit. Uh, but if it gets too complicated, you can always talk to CHAP. I have a question. How often is it complicated for those of you that are out there in the field? Do you usually see things that are straightforward, or are you more likely to see things that are complicated? And if so, how do you sort that out? We, I would say for the ones that I've been doing and talking with the other navigators, we get a lot that aren't complicated, and we get a lot that are. <laughs> And so we're constantly, even though we've been trained and, and we've been doing this for a year at CHAP, there are still situations that come up where we have questions. And we use each other as resources because different ones of us have had some different kinds of experiences. And then sometimes we have to actually do some research to find out exactly how we need to handle that particular situation. Um, so it can just be very, again, it's just very different. It's not like you can sit there and like it's an assembly line and people come through the door and you do the application and you're done and then you move on to the next person. Every situation has its differences.